Hi, Plastic Pony fans, Jesse here. As we all know, Briar Fest was much different this year, and just like the pandemic we're experiencing in 2020, this Briar Fest was unprecedented. So it was the first virtual Briar Fest, and as expected, things didn't go as planned, right? And that happens. So we wanted to bring a little levity to the situation, and we hope you enjoy this quick video. Just big boxes. You see that? Those big boxes. Yeah, just come on, Teddy Garvin. I don't care. Just bring Briar Fest on in. Hey, Plastic Pony fans, Jesse here with my unboxing of Briar Fest 2020. This year it was virtual, so instead of just you know doing one pony a day or a couple a day, we're, I'm just gonna do all of them at once. Don't worry, I'm not gonna bore you by opening the entire box in front of y'all. I'll just save the slouch of surprise for the end. But uh, we'll be right back. All right, we got everybody unpacked except for the Slauncha surprise. So I just kind of want to go through and show everybody what my family's three tickets got us. We have three Bally Noahs, which were the celebration horse. The one's behind here because it didn't fit into the, into the frame. And then the store specials, which were frustrating for everybody, right? Refresh. Um, <laughs> I was able to snag them, um, a bunch of them. So I got Top Gun, Benelli, and the coveted cheesecake. That was the last thing I was able to buy. So I was, I was really happy to snag him on the, the third day there. <laughs> then I have Kelpie, the, the crystal this year, which I absolutely love. I love this mold. Glad to have it in a crystal. These are the four-pack. These were usually be with the single-day tickets, but they allowed us to buy all four of these horses. And it, it's kind of fun because it has one traditionals in here that they shrunk down, uh, LaCroix, down there at the end. Then I got... The short special uh, stable mate, Era, which is Irish for Ireland. This is Greenman down here. This is the stable mate collection of five. We'll do close ups of these later. Absolutely gorgeous horses. And then I got little Mackenzie there. Not pictured here. I, I have the stable mate grab bag. I'll do that in a separate video because that'll just make this one too long. This is Oak, and I was super happy to get Oak. He was a premier last year um, named George. And I love Appaloosas and I love draft horses. And this is my first one on this mold. So I'm really happy to add Oak to my collection. Then I have Thorn. Again, I love Appaloosas. Um, this mold is vintage. So it's kind of fun to have a vintage mold with a, a newer Appaloosa pattern on it. And then I love the Othello mold. So I, I just had to get Ash here. Gorgeous critter. He is gloss. Sorry, Oak and Thorn were both uh, mats. Hamish here, I love Briar's Bulls, so when I saw this guy, I just knew I had to have him. And he is glossy. And then I got Epina. I got the one with the braided man and tail. And I, I just love the strapless mold too. And I love gray and white paints. So that was a, a no-brainer for me on that one. And then here's my Slancha surprise. Slancha is was done on Giselle. And as we know, there's gonna be lots of colors and some are gonna be matte some are gonna be glossy I have no idea what this one is and I've been doing really good to not you know not get on social media here to totally ruin the surprise for me about percentages of what's gonna be out there so I'm gonna go ahead and open Giselle oh my gosh <laughs> y'all I am so happy because you know I love Appaloosas and I would have I would just would have died to have last year's surprise in the Appaloosa but I got the green deco last year, so you know, it's still a win. And look, I have Giselle here in a le leopard pattern. And I'm super, super happy. Oh my gosh. I got goosebumps, y'all. <laughs> All right. 
So there is my Briarfest 2020. It was uh, frustrating for a lot of people with the re constant refreshing and the, the horses getting taken out of the cart as we were going to purchase them. We all experienced it. I don't know anybody who didn't on social media. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. So we'll do some close-ups with these guys and let you take a close look at them. Uh, did I already mention? I have Mackenzie too? Okay. So anyway, as long as... <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, this is exciting. It, it was it was a completely different experience, you know, to get in the mood before I opened these. I went outside. It's, you know, 90 degrees, 1,000% humidity here. So it helped me get into the Briarfest mode before I opened these. And wow, guys. I got a pretty good collection. I hope you all had fun this year too and got some of the horses you were wanting. Bye.